Welcome back to Kitchen Gadgets. Today we are testing perfect roll sushi maker and the sushi bazooka. I make something similar to sushi at my restaurants all the time. It's called kimbap. It's like the Korean style sushi, but it's basically the same idea. And as a chef, I would still stick to my bamboo mat just because I also like doing things with my hands at all times. Starting with the perfect roll sushi maker. The price tag on this one, $10. For pros and beginners alike, it's in a stylish black and dishwasher safe. You're supposed to lay the nori here and basically what it's supposed to do is pull it tight together. And that's where the difficult part is. If it's too tight, then your nori will rip and then it'll like burst. If it's too loose, all the ingredients in the middle will kind of like fall apart and it'll be hard to cut. This is supposed to prevent all those things from happening. The first thing, we would have to cut the nori to the shape of the little insert mat. Already you have a loss of this. And I'm gonna do the shiny side down. I'll take a little bit of rice, cucumbers, avocado, and then a little bit more rice. Latch, you'll see the little clip. Pull this to the other side, and then you're supposed to pull. There it is. I know that it's gonna be a little loose, and right here already, maybe it's because it's my first time using this, this is not a good sign. because it's, it's probably gonna fall apart, or the shape is gonna be a little funny and then you can kind of tell that all the middle ingredients are at the end where the opening is, so that makes me a little nervous. So the bazooka is so interesting and there's a lot of thoughts that are going through my mind when I see this. And it is priced at $6.69. You're not cutting the nori. This is for the exact size of a roll. First thing, you will put a little bit of rice on each side of the bazooka. It's like saying that to bazooka. But it looks even. Cucumber, avocado. Plunger goes in at the end. You are supposed to close like that. There's a cap at the end, and th what this cap is supposed to do is make sure that the end of your sushi is nice and tight. Sushi inside is supposed to go right on the end of the nori. It's kind of fun. At this point, you just roll. That was really easy. When you cut into sushi, that's when you know how good your sushi roll is. But let's cut into it and see what it looks like. Perfect roll sushi maker. You don't want any loose nori. It's too loose. I mean, I can, I can already tell. It does not look very nice. To me, that's like very ugly, bad sushi. The sushi bazooka. Let's cut it and see how the inside looks. Wow. It's pretty damn even and the best thing about it is it's really tight. I mean, this is pretty beautiful. I think to get it a little bit more perfect, I need a little bit more practice with this specific machine. I would probably put less rice in the bottom part and try to make it more even. And I think I have to do a better job at pulling because that's, that's, it's too loose. Compared to the sushi bazooka, which is perfectly tight and compact, and it's not gonna fall apart, so you do the math. It's simple and the sushi looks beautiful and honestly, I, I would recommend for first timers. The sushi bazooka, which is $3.31 cheaper than the perfect sushi roller, takes the cake. For more Kitchen Gadget videos, please click here. I'm actually a little bit nervous because I think I'm gonna lose to the skins it and I know that usually the knife scales always win on the show, but I feel like I'm gonna be the first one.